Hey, what's up guys? Stephen Gold of Mac here. Now, if you've been experiencing problems with your iPhone or iPad screen, not being quite as responsive as usual, don't panic. In this video, I'm going to share with you five tips to fix a non-responsive iPhone screen. So, let's get started. Let's be honest, our iPhones are always by our sides, which means dirt and gunk is easily collected on the screen, which could end up interfering with its performance. Take a close look at the screen and see if it's oily or if there's anything else on there that might be preventing the screen from working properly. If so, give it a good clean with a decent screen wipe or a soft cloth to remove anything on the screen. If you need to dampen the cloth to get any stubborn dirt off there, make sure not to soak the screen unless you've got the iPhone 7, 7 Plus or newer. If your screen isn't responding with a particular app, but seems fine when you exit it, the problem will be with the app rather than the screen itself. First, check if there's any updates available for the app, as this could be a bug known to the developers, and it may have been fixed. If not, simply delete the app and then head back to the App Store to reinstall it. Sometimes, all your phone needs is a reboot to fix an unresponsive screen. If your screen is completely frozen, I recommend doing a hard reboot, which is kind of like shutting down a computer by pulling the plug out the wall. If you're using an iPhone 6s or older, hold down the home button and the power button until you see the Apple logo. If you're using an iPhone 7 or newer, <clears throat> without a physical button, hold down the volume button and at the same time the sleep wake button until the phone reboots. Like a Mac or PC, if your iOS device is running out of storage, problems will likely occur, including your screen seizing up. Check the amount of storage you have available by going to the settings app, then general, storage and usage, and then manage storage. If you're using iOS 11, it'll be under general and iPhone storage. If there's less than a few hundred meg available, this could be the root cause of the problem. Now, there's a few ways you could sort this. Delete apps, backup photos, check the caches for apps like Facebook or Instagram. There's a ton of different ways to do it, so check out some of the links I've put in the description down below for how to free space on your iPhone. Finally, if none of these steps have worked and your phone isn't damaged from a drop, make sure to back up your iOS device through iCloud or iTunes first, wipe the phone and then restore from the backups you made previously. Well, that's it for this video. Hopefully these tips have sorted out any screen problems you had. If they did, go ahead and hit that like button down below and make sure to hit subscribe so you don't miss a single video from Cult of Mac. I'll catch you in the next one.